Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Today I'll be working at Autodesk 3ds Max and I'm gonna show you how you can import a motion capture file into your skeleton, into your biped or your model. So let's do it. I'm gonna increase the size of this window and then I'm gonna create a biped skeleton. You can find it here under the systems tab. Biped, this second button, so just drag and drop. And then you are able to see your skeleton. Um, now I'm going to show you how you can import the motion capture file and then uh, how to apply this, this animation into your biped. So you go here to motion tab, down here to motion capture, and then the first icon it will allow you to, to load the motion capture file. So I'm going to use this boxing animation. So simply press OK, OK, leave everything by default. Max now is reading everything, all the attributes, all the frames. And now, as you can see, if you press play, bam, 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 it's boxing. If you have a, a boxer model, I mean, you can you can use this biped on it and then just uh, apply this motion capture and that's it, guys. You have your animation done. You don't need to create any frame to do it. Um, let's imagine that you want to, to have another kind of animation, maybe walking, maybe running, maybe something else is just go I'm gonna grab another one so I go here walking or I'm gonna walk and run cycles I'm gonna use this one so just do it everything again okay and okay press play I just need to go back press play and as you can see your animation is right here um, let's imagine that this guy you want you want him to be to be doing this walking, someone mess with him and then he will start doing some boxing. You can have more than one animation, I will show you now how you can do that. Uh, so first of all you need to go to this window which is biped and you can find these, all these attributes, all, all these configurations and you go to the third icon which is motion flow mode and then you will open this window and here you will open a graph show graph this fourth icon and now you need to download all the files here and then you will be able to, to download the, the animations or to apply the animation into your model so simply go to this second icon create multiple clips so let's create first his walking which will be this one and then he has some kind of a uh, I'm gonna use this one as well, some reaction, and then I'll open this, okay, and okay. And then I'm gonna grab the boxing one, which is this one. Alright. Okay. So now you go to the, this is the second step of applying this animation. You go to this first icon, which is define script, and then you need to select the um, the way the animation goes. So first will be this one, which is he will be walking. The second will be this one. You can see that they are appearing in this in this box. This will be the second, which is which will show the guy some reaction or something that will we will he will hear something and then we will have some reaction as he as says here walk humbling reaction to sound and then start to boxing. So the thing that you need to do now is just close this window, you have these animations here and now just press play and you will see. It's going and then... Hey, don't mess with me! Oh! What you want? Bam bam! So as you can see, it's running all the animations. Someone just... Um, you can even add more animations if you want. You can have the same animations running like three times. I will show you now. So I will create a new script and then again press this one. I press one appeared here. If I press the second time, it will appear there. So I close. I don't need to use the other ones. So you'll see the guy will be just walking and walking and walking, looking to the phone or something. So you can have some cool animations now, 
uh, but it's up to you you just need to go to your just need to go to your browser and then search for BIP animations download so you have this first link the second one you can go I don't know to the squid blah 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 so we have all of these animations that you can download uh, you, you have this preview if you want to see you have this preview if you want to see I mean cool animation this one huh yeah maybe I'm gonna download this one and I'm gonna apply for a guy so download it um, let me show what I have so you have this um, these sites where you can download models just need to look for it you can have here as well this link you can download more models you just need to register yourself you have this one which is rigged already you can have others without rigging and then you just need to uh, to create the, the biped to create the skeleton uh, this is this turbo squid is uh, what I use the most because I have everything that I want since cars you have characters vehicles you know animals down well just go to characters here you have rig models you have uh, non rig models just download try to practice they are for free um, in this website you have all of these motion capture files just need to go down here and download it will download automatically so you have this the same site that I entered before um, so now I'm gonna open a model that I download it's part of a CS team so counter-strike team I will open the first one I'll browse the texture so I go to the same folder which is 3ds max since yes, this one use path okay continue so as you can see I have my model here which which is using biped uh, skeleton um, as you can see my model it's freeze so I need to unfreeze in order to do that you just need to select the model right button here this is your outliner basically you can see all the objects that you have on your viewport it will appear here so you just go select your model right button properties so unfreeze this checkbox okay so now the model is is continue with this kind of a texture if you do alt x you are able to see the the mesh uh, basically what I did was um, so the person who was who was modeling this model and uh, f in order to create the skeleton you need to to see through the mesh so basically he did alt plus x and now I'm able to see through the, the mesh to, to build the, the rig but um, well the way I work sometimes I just press f3 I can work like this I just need to freeze my model and then I can I'll, I'll be able to, to create my skeleton under but it's up to you guys you can you can do you can do the, the way you want so now I need to select my biped and then import my animation so in order to do that I need to uncheck this box so take out from figure mode go under here motion capture and first I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my transfer my downloads folder I will take I believe it's this one I'm looking for the animation that I download which I don't know is one I believe it's this one all right so I'm gonna yeah I believe it's this one I'm gonna open the beep animation and then just drag and drop uh, it's not this one I had it already, so where are you? One of it. No, it's this one. So I'm gonna open VIP animation. I go here to this one. So it's the first one. I don't need this, I will close. I go to the S Max. Now I go back. 
I will grab this one, this animation, VIP1. Press OK, OK by default. And now I'm going to hide my skeleton because I don't need it. I don't need to see. Now I have my model here. And as you can see, if I press play, bam, you can see our animation, which is amazing. Can you imagine if you, if you are playing this game and a guy starts just doing this? Good animation good stuff here and it's easy to do so you just need to import your animation into your bipad and that's it guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to share to comment and subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time